In this video, I'll show you how you can loop your video to match the audio duration and the duration of the slide. So I got a message from Doris who wrote, is there a way in Captivate for a video loop? The text is significantly longer than the video and I want the video to play automatically several times. Thanks and best regards, Doris. So today I'll show you that. It's a very simple process, but it does require using event video. Let me show you. So I already have the video as well as the audio clip. The audio clip has some narration and the video is just a background video of clouds uh, rolling past. It should be quite effective, uh, especially if you're building something inspirational and you just want something moving on the screen while your narration occurs in the background here. So first of all, let's take the clouds video and drag that onto my stage here. Now, for this to work, for the whole idea of looping video, you do need to select event video. So I'm going to leave it with event video. If your project automatically selects slide video, because that's the last thing you brought over, just switch it to event video and click OK. Now, event video won't change the duration of the slide because, of course, this is asynchronous with your project. The video plays by itself unto itself here. And we're going to need to change some settings for our video here. So let's go to the Properties Inspector for the video. It's already selected. Uh, in this case here, I don't think we want a skin, but you could leave that if you wish. I'm going to turn it on. It's going to automatically play, so we'll leave that setting. What you want to look at is the timing panel here. And we're going to uncheck pause slide till the end of the video and then select loop instead. So this way it will loop the video no matter how long the slide is. Let's go to our library now and select that clip for the audio narration and we'll drag that onto the slide as well. So you'll see that the duration of the slide and the video has been extended for the full duration of the slide here. I'm going to mark the one second mark on my timeline with my playhead here and I'm going to press Control P which is a convenient shortcut when you want to push out the audio narration to the one second mark. This will push out the length of the slide as well and I'm going to roll back that playhead to the half second mark and press Control P again. And that's going to give me a half second before and after uh, just to create a natural pause before the narration occurs. So let's do a preview in HTML5 in browser and see how it looks and how it sounds. Thanks for watching. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one on one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel. So it's not the best example of a video that's going to repeat here, but you can see that partway through the playback of this slide, the uh, video started over to accommodate the longer slide duration and the longer audio narration. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.